Dear colleagues, my name is Maurice Balker from the Sports Clinic Cologne in Germany. The advantages of this technique are that you can reach a stable refixation of the meniscus root without the need for an additional posterior portal. You have no potential suture elongation and no potential interference of tibial tunnels with concomitant procedures like anterior cruciate ligament reconstruction. I would like to show you the instruments necessary for this special technique. You need a special aiming device to establish the outside-in drill hole. In this case, we use a tip aimer, which is also used for anterior cruciate ligament reconstruction. Then you need a drill with a special drill bit for the Why Not Flex anchor. You also need a device for shuttling this suture through the drill hole. Then the Why Not Flex 1.8 mm suture anchor is used. A simple spinal cannula loaded with a monofilamental shuttle suture, a suture retriever, a knot pusher, and a device for cutting the sutures after knot tying. We start with the standard arthroscopy with the camera in the anterolateral portal. As you can see here, we have a meniscus root tear, and at first and the root of the meniscus is debrided using a shaver. Then the aiming device is introduced through the joint and placed to the meniscus root attachment. In most cases, you also need a gentle laceration of the medial collateral ligament in order to have a little more space at the posterior root. Then the Why Not Flex drill bit is drilled through this aiming device to the root of the meniscus and the shuttling device is introduced over the instrument. A shuttling suture is then pulled out of the joint, which is later used to pull in the anchor. Next, I prepare the anchor and mark a death mark to which this anchor is usually tapped in. I remove the anchor from the insertion instrument and place a pulling suture into the kink of the anchor. Then the knot pusher is pushed over all four sutures of this anchor and is later used for enabling pulling in of the anchor. Then the suture which is placed into the kink of the anchor is pulled with the shuttling suture outside of the joint. Pulling on these sutures, the anchor is introduced into the joint just until it reaches the cortical bone. Then I take the knot pusher and use the knot pusher to erect the anchor at the bone which facilitates introduction of the anchor. By pulling on the sutures, the anchor is pulled into the joint just until the depth marks are not any longer visible. With help of the knot pusher, the anchor is pulled back just until the depth marks are visible again and thus is blocked right under the cortical bone. In this case, I take outside-in sutures using simple spinal cannulas loaded with a monofilamental suture in order to shuttle the anchor sutures through the meniscus. Of course, you can also use any other device which you prefer for shuttling the sutures through the meniscus. This is facilitated by using an arthroscopic probe Taking the suture retriever, one of the sutures from the suture anchor is pulled through this loop and by pulling back on the monofilamental suture, pulled through the meniscus outside of the joint. Using this technique or any other shuttling device, any other suture configurations would also be possible. In this case, we aim to establish two simple sutures. The second suture is established the same way. Then one suture of the other suture limb is pulled through this loop and the loop is pulled back outside of the joint. In this case, one suture limb of each suture pair is pulled through the meniscus and thus enabling two simple sutures. Then I take the suture retriever to grab all four sutures and pull them out of the joint altogether over one portal. This is made to avoid any soft tissue bridges. Then the knot pusher is pushed over both sutures of one suture pair to make sure that the knots can be placed directly at the fixation site. Then the knots are tied in the preferred fashion. I prefer four half hinges which are self-locking and the sutures are cut. As you can see here in the probe examination, this enables a very strong refixation of the meniscus. Thank you for watching my video. 